Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy St. Hendo, guys, favorite sneakerhead. Um, today we are going, well, I'm going to show you how to uh, make custom sneaker stickers, all right? So that way, you know, for me personally, I like doing that kind of stuff because it makes your collection a little more organized. If you're a box guy, like I like to keep all my boxes. I don't like the drop top, um, the flip front clear joints. Like I don't like all that. I prefer to have just the regular boxes. Um, but it makes my life easier so I don't have to check colorways, you know, how the boxes start looking the same. Um, it makes it a lot easier to make my own sticker to put on here so I don't have to keep opening up the boxes. Um, so I can see it from a distance. I already know what fit to wear with what. So it makes my life a whole lot easier. Um, so that's what I'm that's what I'm going to show you how to do today. Um, one step at a time, I'll show you all the tools that you need, all that good stuff. All right. So uh, stick with me if you want to know what's going on. All right. Nah, this beginning to the end, no Always keep it G, ain't nothing here for pretend, yo Yeah, so you should want to lift your friends, no The God of the sneakers get blessed by Saint Hendo Alright, we back So, first thing you're gonna need to do Is take pictures of your sneakers Today we're gonna be doing this same Jordan 14 uh, Black Ferrari We're gonna do that, alright So, with that being said Number one, you gotta take a picture, alright have to take a picture and have to have it printed out so what i do is i go over to uh snapfish they always have like sales going on um so and also i would recommend you get doubles of everything just in case you mess up or over time you mess up the sticker or whatever the case may be um it makes it a lot easier for you to just hurt, just already have it on hand to to redo it um i would recommend that you get four by six prints um, that way you have enough room to make it as big or as small as you want it to be when you print it out. Um, that's my personal recommendation. So and always get double prints just in case you mess anything up. If there is any problem, like you, you jack this up in any way, you have another print on hand to give it another shot. All right. So number one, get the pictures. All right. Cool. And it usually doesn't take that long to get. I mean, you talk in a few days. I mean, you can print them out at Walmart. You can go get them printed. Um, what is that? CVS, Walgreens, like wherever it's comfortable for you. But as long as you get prints and they have to be, from my experience of doing this, and I've, I've done this a lot, uh, four by six. So I would say four by six, hands down, is the best size to go about doing this. All right. So like I said, you really want to make sure you get doubles. I have doubles of every pair of sneakers. Um, so and just in case, you never know. All right. So that's it. Step two, you're gonna need an X-Acto knife kit. All right, so an X-Acto knife, maybe not a whole kit, but you can just get one X-Acto knife. All right, so I have an X-Acto knife kit, bunch of blades. Um, so that's number two. You definitely need an X-Acto kit knife because we're gonna be cutting those out. All right. With the, with, you also want a cutting mat. Like you need a mat to cut on. Um, if you just have a random piece of glass or a mirror, you can cut on that. I prefer to cut on a mat. That's me personally. You get whatever is comfortable for you. All this stuff is very inexpensive. Very, very inexpensive. All right. So you got the mat. That was three. Now you need glue. You need some type of glue. I use this Gorilla Glue. Just clear, regular Gorilla Glue. All right. You won't need a lot of it. So just this little bit of do. Um, so here, let me take it out of the bag. Uh, so in case you didn't know also, using Gorilla Glue, um, or any glue for that matter, um, if you keep it inside of it, keep it in a cool place that kind of stuff and then you keep it inside a plastic bag sealed up um, it won't dry out uh, because the air is what dries it out um, so you just squeeze the air out of it zip it up and then I just keep it in a container so you're gonna need some glue all right? and then the last you're gonna need some tape all right? double-sided tape is what I choose to use um, it's not really to keep the sticker on there so to say it's there to keep it set in place while the glue cures all right, so that's how I do it. Um, so you don't need you don't need a lot. I mean, one roll. If you only got like a handful of sneakers, one roll will do. Um, but I have a few because you know I'm always doing this. So you need double-sided tape. So you can get this from anywhere, any Walmart, CVS, any big box store, that kind of stuff. You can get this. All right, so double-sided tape, good to go. All right. So that is it for the supplies you will need. Other than that, you just need time and patience. That's really it. So um, I'm gonna reset up real quick and get the camera in place so you guys can see what I'm physically doing. Um, I'm not going to make you watch like the whole cutting process. I'll fast forward through that stuff. 
Um, so give me a second, I'll get right back to it. All right, yeah. So now once you get done cutting it out, so this is the finished product, all right? So it's done being cut out, nothing on the back, all right? So what you wanna do is you wanna take a couple pieces of double-sided tape and put them in the, you know, the top, kind of uh, on the back of the sticker, well, on the back of the picture at the uh, toe box, one in the middle and one in the rear. That's what I do. I'm not gonna do it right now because I already have one made for that sneaker. So I won't have nowhere to put it. So you want to put about three, maybe four pieces of tape on here. Then what you'll do is you'll take some of your, uh, you'll take some of your glue and then you'll put a few dabs. I would say no more than five little dabs of glue on there after you put the tape on. Then you'll place it in the corner of the sneaker, the sneaker box. Um, that's, I mean, wherever you like it personally, I just like, all mine facing a certain way like i like all mine facing to uh my right so that way it, they all look uniform um so then i place it right there and just kind of press it in the tape will keep it flat but once the glue cure, yeah, once the glue <laughs> once the glue cures um it'll be completely flat and it's not gonna go nowhere it won't curl up or anything now over time if you don't put the glue on there that's fine but over time, that tape will curl and that, that sticker won't lay flat. Um, that's what I've learned over the time of doing it. So that's why I decided to start putting a little bit of glue on there. Um, so that's what I do. Um, you can kind of tweak it and do however it is that you want, you know, uh, whatever suits your needs. But uh, if you want it to lay flat for an elongated amount of time, um, it, it behooves you to go ahead and put glue on there. Um, just I'm telling you from experience, I ain't making this up. Uh, so that's the easiest way to go about doing it. Uh, I'm sure there's other methods to do it. This is the way I like to do it. Um, I got time. It's, it's, it's just it's really not a lot of time. Even just cutting out that little stick, the sticker itself, like cutting out the picture, doesn't take long. So every this whole process, one one sticker might take you all of five minutes. Literally could take you five minutes. So it's, it's nothing to go ahead and try to get out of go. All right. So hopefully I hope this helps somebody out and uh, taught you guys how to do it. Uh, make your own sticker your own way for your own personal collection because I know a lot of companies that sell sni Stickers for sneakers. They don't have like all the oddball sneakers. They might have J's they might have bronze um, But then they may not have those air maxes. They may not have those Kevin West I mean um, those uh, Westbrooks um, So it's it's hit and miss they may not have all that you need so this way you can always have whatever you need at your fingertips. All you need is a camera. You can take it with your phone, take it with a regular camera, DSLR, whatever. As long as you get them printed out, that's all that matters. Um, so hope this helped you guys out um, that you can do it on your own now. You know what I'm saying? If you got any questions, hit me in the comments. I'll be happy to answer them. Um, if you need any more portion of this done in detail, I'll be more than happy to make another video of the detail process. Um, I thought this was, uh, pretty detailed. I thought this would serve the purpose. So by all means, hit me up. Let me know what's up. All right. But I uh, hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Thanks a lot. Uh, follow me on you on Instagram. Follow me on uh, Facebook. All my group links are down below. Sneaker page. Absolutely. We're always in that group making noise. So come through highlighters. We'll see what's up. All right. I'll let y'all later. Yeah.